Hey, this is Robin Bremer. Uh, I'm always excited to talk to you, but today I'm going to share again on one of my favorite subjects, and that is speaking in tongues. Why it is for you and why it is for today, and so that you know that you know that you know that it's for you and it's for today, because I don't want you to miss out on it. It's just a, a most awesome tool that we have, and it'll change your life. So let's get started. Today I'm going to just share a little bit about why speaking in tongues is for you and why it's for today. And that's Acts 2 that I'm going to go to here. And um, what's happening here is uh, Peter, I believe it is, yeah, Peter is talking um, and explaining uh, how to get saved to a bunch of people. And uh, then he says, then they're, you know, they're cut to the heart and they say, what shall we do to get saved? And they said, repent every one of you and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Okay. And then he goes on to say what's really important, Acts 2.39. He says, for the promise is to you, the person he's talking to, to your children and to all that are far off okay and as many as the Lord God will call okay so you fit in there I fit in there we are not the children but or the children's children but the children's children's children we are all that are far off and we are all that the Lord called so receiving the Holy Spirit is for everyone and it's for today he said for all who are far off it didn't just say for some people or a chosen group of people but the Holy Spirit is for everyone now and we have to go back to the the fact of how do we know that we have the Holy Spirit um, the Holy Spirit guides us leads us teaches us shows us things to come um, reveals truths about uh, the sons of God reveals mysteries all kinds of stuff but if you go back to Acts um, let's see Acts 11 how do they know right here is our proof right here going to um, Acts 10 I mean 10 um, 44 as Peter was saying these things the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the message the Jewish believers who came with Peter were amazed because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out poured out on the Gentiles too. How did they know? How did they know? For they heard them speaking in tongues and praising God. So speaking in tongues is confirmation, is a sign confirming that you are filled with the Holy Spirit. And it is for today because in Acts 2 it says it's for everyone who's afar off and everyone who the Lord calls. So you are called, you're, if you're saved, you're called. And if you aren't, weren't born at that time, you're far off. So that includes you. So start praying in your heavenly language. And I will tell you more about it in the next couple of days. Um, and I'm probably just going to keep on putting little tidbits and pieces up. Um, doing blogging on it because it is such, such an important thing. Is that you speak in tongues because it's so much power um, so make sure you subscribe or like or share the link uh, put it on your blog or your website um, uh, share it with other people uh, comment on it go to my website uh, robinbremer.net and get the scripture notes that go with that so my name is Robin Bremer and I'm glad you joined me today really glad and I'll talk to you tomorrow